I guarantee you that they're going to say Egyptian Musk is our top seller. I man, listen. I got over just about over a hundred connects, man. Out of all hundred hundred of those connects, each and every last one of them, Egyptian Musk is a top seller, man. <laughs> and all of them, they have different variations. But one thing they all got in common is that they all, all of those companies, the Egyptian Musk is their top seller. I don't know what it is about it. Well, I, obviously I know now is because, you know, they're trying their best to imitate the formula of the actual Egyptian Musk from ancient Egypt. Now, with that being said, it must, the, the chemist, the perfume chemist, or the person the Egyptian, because obviously it's an Egyptian favorite, but the Egypt, that Egyptian chemist, or let me just say African chemist, because Egypt is in Africa. I don't, I don't, I don't understand how people they say, you know, I'm Egyptian. Then you ask them, they, they say, uh, so you're African. They say, no, I'm not African. No, <laughs> you are African. Africa is in Egypt. You gotta understand that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Egypt is in Africa. But the person who actually made Egyptian musk, the person who actually made Egyptian musk, I don't know who that person, I don't know who that African perfume chemist or the Egyptian perfume chemist was 10,000 years ago, 9, 8,000 years ago. I don't know who they are. Whether it be male or female, I don't know. But one thing I can tell you for sure is they, that person is the best chemist to ever walk the face of the earth. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. I am comfortable. I am very comfortable to say that that person, whether it be male or female, who made Egyptian musk, ancient Egyptian musk of the past, I am very, I am very comfortable to say that they are a better perfume chemist than Abu Ishaq ibn Yaqub al-Kindi. And if you don't know, I made a lesson about him, by the way, and I said he was one of the greatest perfume chemists to ever live. I'm actually taking a step forward, and I'm actually saying that whoever that person was, that African, that Egyptian, whoever he was, that person is better than Abu Ishaq ibn, al Abu Ishaq ibn Yaqub al-Kindi. Better, hands down. Why? Why is that? I'll tell you why. Because Abu Ishaq Ibn Yaqub Al-Kindi, he do have some fragrances that are still lingering around that, you know, that he designed to have the formula and everything like that. And there's books that have certain fragrances that he made. But to be honest with you, a lot of those fragrances, um, the names of those fragrances are not known in oil shops. You see what I'm saying? Those names are not known in the oil shops. They're not known. You see what I'm saying? They're not known. I have to be frank about that. And you know, Abu Ishaq Ibn Yaqub Al-Kindi, you know, that's that's one of my favorite perfume chemists. He's my favorite. But I have to be honest here. None of, none of his scents that he made, they're not lingering around. I can't call any oil shop or a, 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 um, a big time corporate oil company and I can say, hey, you guys got uh, any fragrances that is made by Abu Ishaq Ibn Yaqub al-Kindi? The first, first thing they're going to say is, who is that? Because they don't do their homework about it. But obviously, if his fragrance was well known, then obviously his name also would be well known. Just like Boss Up would be well known because... Professor Smell Good is attached to that. You see how that works? You know what I'm saying? But Egyptian Musk, 10,000, man, this, this, this information is still mind-blowing to me, man. 10,000 years later, and the form and the fragrance is still a number one seller. If it if it's like that now, what you how do you think it was back then? Think about it. 10,000 years later, mine.